Hi, Jackie Almer, StreetSmartWealth.com, and what I'm going to be covering today is prospecting without selling. Have you ever struggled with this? I know, uh, you know, a lot of people talk about how confused they get. What's the difference between prospecting and selling? And if you've ever been at a coffee shop and overheard a network marketer talking to someone about their opportunity, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about in most cases. If you've heard someone really good and really confident and who, who knows the skills of being a good marketer, you'll hear them prospecting and probing and getting, getting good information. And if you hear someone who really has an invested time in learning the skills that are required to be successful, you'll definitely hear someone who's selling. You know, really our goal in network marketing is to get people to buy into us. Yes, we want them to buy into our opportunity, our product line, etc. But we know that really the person presenting it is who they buy into first and foremost. It really truly is. So we want people to buy into us. Are you gonna buy into someone who's telling you that you're gonna get rich overnight and you don't have to do anything? You know, we'll build it for you, those type things, or how amazing the product is, it cured cancer and five different people, etc. That's selling. And how many of us, when we hear that, really truly believe what we're hearing? Uh, you know, most of us don't. So really attraction marketing is the name of of the game prospecting probing getting to know you know your prospect getting to know that person getting to know what need it is that they want to have met through this opportunity they're, that they're evaluating in speaking with you what we what our real goal is is to get people to chase us versus the other way around and when you're doing things correctly when you're using good skills like asking questions and listening and then finding for the right way that your opportunity might be a fit instead of blowing in with a lot of hype and chest beating and and bogus information about how perfect and wonderful everything is in your opportunity we really do give ourselves the opportunity for people to chase us when the other person knows that we're truly interested in them as an individual them as a potential teammate and helping them get their needs and goals met through our opportunity. Now, I have uh, people say to me sometimes, you know, on the phone when I'll call a lead back, someone who's filled out a form on my website, sometimes I'll hear, you know, well, go ahead, give me your spiel. And I always have to laugh because I refuse to give a spiel. When somebody says that to me, what I'll say to them is, well, what do you mean by that? What, you know, what, what spiel are you looking for? And oftentimes they'll tell me, you know, go ahead and pitch me on your deal. And I always tell them, you know, I, I don't pitch people. I don't have a spiel. Really what my goal is, is to present the information to you, to get your questions answered, find out what questions you have of me, get those questions answered, and see if there might be a fit. Because what I want you to do is I want you to sell yourself on my opportunity. I want you to sell yourself on working with me as your coach and sponsor. I want you to sell yourself on network marketing. I don't want to be the one to sell you because I know if I have to sell you into the opportunity, I'm going to have to sell you into staying in the opportunity. I'm going to have to sell you on coming to convention. I'm going to have to sell you on investing in your business and investing in the tools that are necessary. So I don't want to sell anyone into this business. And by the way, I, I've done that in my, in my career in network marketing. I've definitely sold some people in. But just like what I already mentioned, it's been a continual sales job from then on out. Anyone who I can go back and say, yep, you know, I made a big mistake. I sold that person into my opportunity. That person has never lasted. They've never gone on to build a big business. And in fact, they've never gone on to even sponsor another person. So I did them a disservice and I did myself a disservice too. So my, my philosophy is never pitch, only advise, only answer questions, only see where you might be able to fill a need for your prospect and have them sell themselves. You wanna really position yourself as a consultant to them. They're evaluating a home-based business and you're a consultant. You've made the decision to get involved, you have information on the opportunity, what information can you give to them that's going to help them make the choice that's the right fit for them? So be the consultant. And how do you do that? Sometimes people say, gosh, how do I do that when I'm just getting started? Educate yourself. Read books on network marketing. You know, I invested in a book a month when I first got started, and your library is filled with them. So educate yourself on the opportunity. 
find out more about our profession. What does network marketing really offer them? Educate yourself on your company and how the compensation plan works, what steps they're going to need to take to really get started, what steps they're going to need to take to make that first hundred dollars, which will prove to them that your opportunity works. So spend some time developing yourself as a consultant, as someone who knows your opportunity and knows the profession of network marketing inside and out, and then really focus on developing those prospecting skills and avoid falling into that sales pitch at all times. Never give your spiel, only give answers, only give you know uh, consultive advice, and really work to let your prospects sell themselves on you, your opportunity, and your product line. So I hope that helps a little bit. Jackie Elmer, streetsmartwealth.com, and I appreciate you taking some time to be here. Please feel free to contact me with any questions you have. Have a great day.